The following video and very existence of this channel is made possible by your support over on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. I couldn't do this without you, and I thank you kindly for keeping the dream alive. Want a kick-ass shirt? Head on over to prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment and pick one up. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to a very special episode of 616 Thunder. It's very special because we've never played a Game Boy game on this show before. We've never played a Game Boy wrestling game on this channel before. That's for sure. We're going to play WWF Superstars, and I'd like to state at the top that this Super Nintendo and Super Game Boy come courtesy of Mr. Beef, a longtime Dan Dan who, uh, made the Silent Hill episode of Scream Sequence possible. He also made this possible here today. So let's get to it. How do I get to it? Which button do I press? There we go. Now, we're gonna take a second here to just enjoy these theme songs. And dude, come on. Come on now. With the stars, the, the twinkling, blinking stars in the background, this is tremendous stuff. Now, I'm gonna sit out for a second. Let's have some fun with these theme songs. Check this out. It's funny, I've always thought that a lot of the theme songs in this game sounded great, but Ted DiBiase's theme always just sounded like it belonged in a different game, you know? It just sounds like a good song from any NES game. Now, who do we want to play as? I think we want to play as Mr. Perfect. Why wouldn't we? I love Mr. Perfect. I love Kurt Hennig. One of the best to ever do it, in my mind. And here's the other thing. The stars that you guys are seeing right now, I'm looking at my TV and then I look over at my computer where this is being recorded and the stars are not blinking on the on the recording feed. So I don't know what you guys are seeing. Hopefully it looks good. But do we want to do one fall, three falls, one, three, one, three, one! You know you gotta do one. Why would you do three? What are you out of your fucking mind here? Yeah. Let's get to work. Now check this out. No time limit. Look at these matchup screens, real nice. And wait till after this, we're gonna get promos in a fucking Game Boy game. All right, you ready for this? Perfection comes at a price. The price will be defeat. It will be an easy win and you can take it to the bank. Now these guys are gonna go back and forth like this and all of these are tailored to their opponent. Your chances of beating me aren't worth two cents. I tip big, and here's my tip for you, Mr. Perfect. Go home while you still can. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, shit, we're getting right into the action. Now, are these graphics what you expected? Let me know in the comments if this is what you thought this is going to look like. Now, I have only ever played this on my Game Boy... Oh, look at that double leg takedown. I've only ever played this on my Game Boy Pocket. I still have my original Game Boy Pocket. We're going to run and drop kick. Check this out. Whoa, I missed him. All right. Let's see. Shit, I got double leg. Now, he's going for a cover already. Were you kidding me? We just started here. Big old scoop slam for your deeds. Elbow drop. Now, obviously, we are not going to have the most fleshed out. Oh, my God. Up and over the top rope. 
We're not gonna have the most fleshed out movesets here, you know, this is Game Boy. I have a Super Nintendo controller in my hand because I'm using the Super Game Boy, but, <laughs> you know, we're not gonna have 20 moves at our disposal, so it is what it is. That's the big slam. Now I'm gonna look to see if I can go up top. Come here, Saku! No, he's not having it. Where'd you go, DiBiase? Where'd you- Whoa, shit! Looking for a dropkick, nobody home. Scoop slam, follow up with that elbow drop. Now, I, I've never been good at this game, just to be clear. I don't think I've ever got- Oh, shit! You're not outboxing me, Saku! I don't- I think I hit him with a running clothesline there, but I missed my follow-up elbow drop. And what's interesting is if you miss your follow-up elbow, elbow, it does damage to you. There we go. Hurt him. Don't want to- don't want to go for another one and take that damage. Shit! That's that running drop kick that I've been looking for. I have never beaten every, uh, every guy in the roster as far as I can recall. Um, I usually get to maybe the third guy and then I would just get fucked up. And by that- Ooh, look at that running drop kick. That was real nice. Big punches! Big punches in the corner! Mr. Perfect got him up! Slams him down! What I want to do- Shit! I don't want to shit. I want to slam him... No, oh, no! Not get slammed! He's regaining health as he's- Oh no! Tombstone pile driver from the Million Dollar Man! Oh no! Tombstone again! Now that's a like a reverse tombstone. You know it's called the Tombstone pile driver. When we were kids, if you picked somebody up for a regular pile driver and then went down on your knees, my friends and I would call it a pile driver tombstone. <laughs> we would reverse the order of the words from the top. Look at the. Big elbow drop and DiBiase moves out of the way at the last second. Where'd you go, sucker? Big old drop kick for your deeds. We're putting this guy away. Come here. Come here. Big slam ski. Stand up. Eat some. Uh, I was looking for some punches there. Didn't happen. Drop the elbow. Go for the cover. Perfect. How do I pin? There we go. And there you have it. We've picked up our first victory. Here in WWF Superstars on the Game Boy. What a victory! Fans will talk about that pin for years! I think that's Vince McMahon, but it looks like Michael Buffer. And yet another victory to Mr. Perfect's perfect winning streak! Gotta love the block WWF logo. It just goes to show that money can't buy everything! Ooh, Savage is up next! And if I can pull off a win here, I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. But let's check out these promos. I won't let you ruin my perfect record. I'm ready for you, oh yeah. But are you ready for me? For a man named Savage, you look like a wimp to me. Mr. Perfect? Oh yeah, Mr. Perfect is more like it! Oh, I fucked that up. Mr. Imperfect. How how could I botch that? It was so good. Randy Savage, I'm making a mockery of your words, man. A theatrical mockery. You understand that, Dan Dans? No? Well, you will. Come here, Perf- Uh, come here, Savage. I must say, come here, Perfect. Oh, fuck! Now, being that I grew up playing this on my Game Boy Pocket, and what's funny is the, the copy that I'm playing right now, I stated that the Super Nintendo and the Super Game Boy were courtesy of Mr. Beef, and thank you again, Mr. Beef. But this is my copy of WWF Superstars, and I have owned this, I've probably owned this for 20 plus years, you know, because I still have my original Game Boy Pocket. The only issue is, I can't record any footage with it. <laughs> you know what, am I just gonna point a camera at my Game Boy and play like that? Now, here's an idea for you, Dan Dans. At the time that you are watching this, 616-2023... Oh, I nailed him on the end of that dropkick. Two elbow drops. 616-2023 has come and gone. Oh, no! He's tossing me up and over the top rope! 616-2023 has come and gone, so you know about the PSP, the Patreon support project, and you know that every single new sign-up leads to a brand new... Get in the ring! <gasps> Well, we got countered out. Son of a bitch. I wonder if I can get a rematch. This great bout is halted by the referee's 10 count. I'm so used to 20 counts in a video game. Mr. Perfect didn't quite live up to his name in that bout. Thanks a lot, Vince, shithead. The Macho King was as dominant as I've ever seen him. 
I don't know why I'm not doing Vincent. Whoa, what a glitchola right there. So we'll play again. We'll, we'll pick somebody else. Maybe we'll pick Savage this time and we'll look for a big elbow. But what I was going to say was um, you guys know that every new Patreon sign up builds toward a new retrospective. And from Grand Theft Auto, Batman, Spider Man, the history of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's all on the table. If you want to see those, please sign up. Those are not going to get made without your support. But um, a retrospective on Pokemon Red version is also on the table. And maybe if the, you guys would like to see that more than any of the others, maybe we can sub it out. We'll see. But we're going to pick Savage here. Let me see. Five, ten, five. Nah. How you like that? Oh, it's the rematch of the century. Can I pull it off again? And by I, I mean Randy Savage. Macho King Randy Savage, by the way. Sign of the times. I can take anything you've got. Oh, yeah! And still beat you. I will perfect plex my way to victory. Don't you love how these are tailored to the opponent? Mr. Perfect? Oh, yeah. Mr. Imperfect is more like it. I did it right that time. Second time's a charm. For a man named Savage, you look like a wimp to me. See, this is, we have to win so we can get Randy's uh, promo against some, fuck, against somebody else. Get up, Savage. Oh, no! He hit me in that side. Oh, son of a bitch, look at all these extra moves he's got. Why don't I know how to do those? I'm getting my fucking ass kicked. Get up. Get up, sucker. Get up. Oh, that running drop kick for your deeds. Double, uh, looking for a double knee drop, but just one. Oh, I ran right into that. Double leg takedown, Randy Savage was a fuck. He was a high school and uh, maybe college baseball player. But I'm about to show you he had the double leg to be a collegiate wrestler as well. Yeah! Come here, come here. I'm the macho king, you son of a bitch. There we go. We're hitting him with some stuff. We're making a comeback here. Oh! What the fuck? I missed my clothesline. I hit the ropes and I got ricocheted back like a jabron. Oh, god damn it. Come on, we gotta, we gotta get our shit together here. Oh, the big punches! I got slammed for my deeds, but I was landing some great shots there in the follow-up. That's the ticket. Look at that. Slam ski into the double knee drop. Come here, perfect. Come here, perfect. Look at this, look at this. Double, nope, didn't hit the double. Nobody, oh fuck, nobody home on the punches. We gotta drain his health all, yep. All the way, ah, fuck. I wanna hit that elbow from the top rope, there we go. He's in a world of trouble. And he's blocking the uh, the top rope. So I couldn't do anything. Come here, come here, come here. Slam ski, but he's not totally out of commish. Here it comes. Not totally out of commish again. There's that drop kick, now he's fucked. Get up there, Randy. From the top! With a knee drop, and I guess I missed. I don't know how I missed. He was right there. All right, we're, we're throwing this away, man. Randy, <laughs> help me out. He's down, go for the cover, take it. Yes, sir. Macho King Randy Savage picks up the victory. What a victory. Fans will talk about that pin for years. I'm changing his voice now. The Macho King was fired up. I don't think anyone could have beaten him. This is still not Vince. It kind of sounds like uh, like Michael Hayes or something. Clearly, Mr. Perfect is not as perfect as he would like us to believe. Who do we got next? DiBiase. DiBiase is the man of the hour um, in real life, too. I think he's in big trouble right now from, like, stealing money from charities or something. When the Macho King talks, yeah, you better shut up and pay attention. After I pin you, I'll stuff your mouth with hundred dollar bills. Hey man, if I'm gonna do the job, that would that would soften it a little bit. All oh, your money can't buy your way out of the beating of your life, DiBiase. Step into the ring, Macho King. It's time for you to cash out. Again, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. When you cash out, you're walking away with paper, alright? <laughs> so, it could be worse. Now, Dan Dans, this is not going to be the longest episode of 616 Thunder uh, that will ever exist. 
and I, I think that's fitting. You know, we're playing a Game Boy game here. We're not gonna we're not gonna try to play through the game with everybody. But I would like to uh, possibly put a win or two together here. Oh, I missed. The, but we got we got a good thing going. Look at that double leg ski. We got some action going here. Oh fuck! No, I don't know how to throw people over the top rope. I've been thrown over the top rope in damn near every match I've had. Slamski, now get in the ring. We're not getting counted out again. Oh shit, the camera didn't switch. Look at that, ooh, that was nice. That was like an American dream elbow. Now, DiBiase, you fucking sucker. There we go, look at this, doing damage. I'm not gonna go after him just yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. There's the slam ski and the follow-up knee. Now we got him. We got him. From the top rope. Nope. Oh, we got him. Go for the cover, Randy. Yes, sir. That's two big wins for the Macho King. I don't know how to do the elbow from the top. The only button that let me go is knee drop. He tried to kick out of the pin, but he didn't have any strength left in him. The Macho King was as dominant as I've ever seen him. You're goddamn right. The Million Dollar Man's talents went totally bankrupt in that poor outing. I need to use this soundtrack in a future video. Savage vs. Hogan. Who's ready for this one? Famous racist Hulk Hogan. Joke credit to Nigel Bravo. I can take anything you got. Oh yeah! And still beat you. Let me tell you something, man. The Hulkster's never been this fired up. Save your strength for the king, Hogan. You're gonna need it! Let's get it on, Macho King. You're about to find yourself dethroned. I don't know why I'm kind of like doing the same impression for damn near everybody. Hogan's got his bandana on in the game, which is interesting. Because Savage doesn't. Savage was also a bandana boy from time to time. Oh, oh come on now. I went for a running clothesline and he hits me with that back elbow. Who the fuck does he think he is? Huh? Looking for a cover already? Come on. Hogan just wants to get this show on the road. This this you know what? This is a WWF house show from the late 80s, early 90s, where Hogan goes on before intermission because he wants to fucking leave. <laughs> oh, big old drop kick! There it is. That's what I wanted. Let's get him on another one. Sometimes when I would just play this as a kid on my Game Boy, I would uh, I would just cheese. Okay, we're kind of clipping through each other there. I would just cheese the drop kick as much as possible because. If you can get in a rhythm, it's a pretty sound strategy, you know? Like, check it out. Let's see if we can do it real quick. There you go. That's two nice hits in a row. And Nope, couldn't make it three. And then we get slammed because we were trying to be cheesy. And Hogan is fucking lactose intolerant. Dig it! <laughs> Dan Dance, let me ask you. Oh, fuck. Uh, have you ever played any of the wrestling games that are on Game Boy? There's WWF Superstars. I, was WWF King of the Ring? Did that get a Game Boy port? Did Steel Cage Challenge get a Game Boy port? I know WCW had main event wrestling on the Game Boy. Fuck. ECW Hardcore Revolution was on the Game Boy. So there have been a number of them. I would love to know if you guys have any experience with uh, some of these original Game Boy games. Or... Just because we're on the subject, maybe you've played uh, some of the WWF Game Boy Advance games too. Tell me about those, because I don't have experience with those, and I, I would like to hear your stories about them. Oh shit! Oh man, he hit me with the three piece and the soda. Come here, Hogan. Get up. Got. There we go. Nice little double leg. Couldn't follow up with that knee drop ski. I don't like that, man. I think I was lined up for a slam ski. At the time that you guys are watching this, uh, on Saturday, I was at AEW Collision for the return of CM Punk. CM Punk and FTR against Switchblade, Jay White, Juice Robinson, and Samoa Joseph. And uh, 
I would imagine that I had a pretty goddamn good time. I went with my girlfriend, the beautiful Tara Darcy. We're on a fucking winning streak here now. I did not think we were going to get this far. What do we got here? He tried to kick out of the pit, but he didn't have any strength left in him. We're repeating ourselves here a little bit, Vince. <laughs> the Macho King was fired up. I don't think anyone could have beaten him. Who, who do we think we have next? Warrior? Incredible! The Hulkster rarely loses, you don't say. But wait until next time. Hogan must pose. <laughs> Even if he loses, we gotta keep him strong and remind people what you're seeing is very rare. Savage versus Warrior. This could be the main event of the evening. The Macho King is gonna give you a royal beating. <laughs> no one in the WWF can match my power and fury. I wasn't sure what voice I wanted to do for Warrior. Shut up, Warrior! <laughs> and take your beating like a man! <laughs> Look into my eyes, Macho King, and tremble at the power of the Warrior. Is that a weird Warrior voice? Oh, fuck! When have you ever seen Ultimate Warrior do a running dropkick? Oh no! Tombstone Pile Driver! Or Pile Driver Tombstone! Check out the flash bulbs in the audience, too. What the fuck? What is this? What is happening? How did I do this? Oh, okay. Apparently, if you press L and R on the Super Nintendo controller while using the Super Game Boy, you can bring up that screen. Hold on, what does that screen do? What is this? What is this? Whoa! I can change the colors? This is fucking awesome! Oh, see, I feel like I should have done the whole thing like this, but maybe not. Where did we start? Is this what we had? Oh, look at all these different fucking... Are these all different palettes? Dude. That's what we started with. This is fucking tremendous. What does this do? I don't know what that is. What is this? So these are the controls. Paint. Whoa! Wait a minute. Can, we can draw on this? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, I don't, what am I doing? Whoa! Oh, I see. We can change the color palettes. I have royally fucked this up. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Fix it. Thank God. All right, let's get fucking, let's get back to biz. Holy shit. Well, that was cool. Welcome to learning how to use the Super Game Boy here on youtube.com slash 616 entertainment. Oh yeah. Come here, sucker. We're picking up this. If I beat Warrior, would I have cleared out the entire roster? Because that would be the first time I've ever done that. Fuck, Dynamite is on. I'm recording this Wednesday, July uh, thir 13th, 14th, whatever day it is. But also, here's another thing to throw at you. I don't know how many uh, of my, the Dan Dans are also fans of Last Stand Media, which is Colin Moriarty's company. I was just on Colin's podcast, Sacred Symbols Plus, for a second time. Last year I went on to talk about wrestling games, and uh, just this past week I went on to talk all about Mortal Kombat. And basically, to educate Colin on Mortal Kombat, and we had a hell of a conversation, and I think if you guys check it out, you'll really like it. And it would be very cool of you if you could get in those comments and tell Colin that you want to see me on uh, Last Stand Media more often. Because that would be sweet, right? Let's put fucking, uh, let's put Warrior away here. Whoa! That was bullshit! That was bull- Ooh, they robbed me right there, sucker! They robbed me! I had him! I had him lined up! Come here. You bitch! Gotcha! Bing bang! One more shot should do it, right? Big drop kick! That should do it! Cover him, Randy! Go for the fucking- What are you doing? Randy! He's done! He's done! Go for- Randy! Wh okay. How is it that I have not had trouble pinning anyone until I'm on the last guy? There it is! I think we just beat the, the, the entire roster! Is that- Did we just pull this off? I'm not gonna read this again. We've read that ten times. 
But Dan Dan's, we may have just pulled off the impossible. The Macho King was as dominant as I've ever seen him. I never thought I'd see the warrior lose a match in such startling fashion. Well, wake up and smell the fucking roses. Look at this, we did it! Holy shit, yeah, I've never done this before. We just beat WWF superstars on the Game Boy live on 616 Thunder. Savage looks like he has sunscreen on his nose. How about that? Dan Dan's, what a fucking episode. This was a great time. Thank you for watching. I love ya. And I'll see you next week. And while I have you here, sign up over at patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Let's get these Grand Theft Auto and Metal Gear Solid and Tony Hawk retrospectives in the works. Two bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, whatever you want. I love you. I'll see you next week.